Hello everyone and welcome to this demonstration of the IBM Ability Lab Media Captioner and Editor. My name is Mark Jollick and today I'll be demonstrating one of our latest solutions in the area of speech technology. So to begin, let's take a quick look at a short video that does not contain any captions. This is just a clip taken from a video where Francis West was discussing information technology and accessibility. IT accessibility is important is because um, information technology is now part of the uh, underpinning of the society. Everybody uses technology every day. And um, in addition, they are about 10 to 15 percent of the worldwide population has some kind of disabilities. That translate into about 750 million to about a billion people on this planet. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video there and we'll take a look now at uh, getting some captions created for this video. So I'm going to use the web interface for Media Captioner and I simply click on the Let's Get Started button and I am prompted for a login. And once logged in I can click on the Create New Caption button. Now a dialog box is displayed for requesting a media file for captioning and the media file can be a local file on your system or it can be a file that's stored on the web. For this demonstration and to save time in uploading, I'm just going to go ahead and use a copy of a clip that I have stored online. So I just select URL and I paste in the link and I want to make sure that the Create Final Media checkbox is not checked so that I can go ahead and edit the transcript once it's created before submitting for the final media. Click the Submit button and it sends the file to the captioner. Now you can see under the job status here, it's already creating the caption for us. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and I'll come back as soon as they're ready to edit. Okay, and we're back. And you'll notice under job status, it says caption ready. So I can go in here and begin to edit the transcript now. And now inside of the editor, we have our full transcript ready for editing. Now the editor has a feature that will play the text above and below the current line that you're editing. And this can be very helpful for providing context for the selections that you are editing. I'm going to go through here and uh, make some corrections to some of the words, uh, add some punctuation and capitalization, and then we'll skip forward in the video to the next step, which will be the merging of the edited captions back to the original video. And now once I've gone through and made all of my edits to the transcript, I can click on edit, mark all lines accurate, and you'll notice that that changes the text from red into black. And then click on save, and the system will come back and ask me if I'd like to now edit my updates and captions into the final media file. So I'm going to say OK. And now back on the main window of the media captioner, you'll notice that the job status says creating media. And what that means is that it's taking those edited captions and it is merging that data in with the original video. And the result will be a final video with open captions. So now this process takes a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and then we'll come back and take a look at that final video. Okay, we're back and the caption data has now been merged onto the final video. So we can take a quick look and see that it now contains open captions. IT accessibility is important is because um, information technology is now part of the uh, underpinning of the society. Everybody uses technology every day. And um, in addition, they are about 10 to 15 percent of the worldwide population has some kind of disabilities. That translate into about 750 million to about a billion people on this planet. And that concludes the demonstration of the IBM Ability Lab Media Captioner and Editor. Thank you for watching.